night that the Wisconsin Senate Republicans got together and forced through Governor Scott Walker's union-busting bill, many Wisconsinites cried foul. The state's open meetings law required more notice unless there was a true emergency, they said. Well, last Friday, a Republican-appointed judge, Marianne Sumi, put a stay on the bill, blocking its implementation pending a full review. Teachers and other state employees retain their union rights for the moment. The people of Wisconsin, I told the Left Forum Friday, stopped a steamroller. Their willingness to fight to keep showing up in greater and greater numbers not only held off the bill, but put the GOP in a place where they were desperate enough that they violated the law or may have. They inspired the fight back in other states, too. Indiana's state Democrats are still out of state, holding up a vote on a similar bill there. And Judge Sumi's decision puts paid to all those who say progress is achieved through one set of tactics or another, voting or protest, law or disobedience. Wisconsin stopped this Walker steamroller through a combination of them all. Direct action, legislators' actions, legal challenges, protest, and above all, organizing. The fight isn't over. Republicans plan to appeal the decision, and the legislature has a chance to take up the bill again. Meanwhile, the recall organizing efforts go on, and Walker's budget makes mincemeat of desperately needed health care and education programs in the state. It's going to take every tactic in the book to turn back the steamroller for good. But hey, it's worth it right now, I think, to stop for a minute and acknowledge what's happening in this country. When was the last time you heard about a Tea Party rally, for example? Enjoy Grit TV? Want more people to see it? Well, we are making our program available free to public television stations coast to coast. If you would like to see our show on your local public television station, please give them a call and ask for Grit TV with Laura Flanders. Thanks.